Okay, Marcus, you're with Tim Thornton. He's having a great season, Quincy Hamilton. But tell me a little bit about your life as an agent. You come from Lafayette and drive all the way to Vinton. What's it like? Yes, sir. Um, well, you definitely got to get up a little earlier than you normally would. Um, How long did you drive? About an hour and 20 minutes each way. Yeah, that's barring traffic jams, right? Yeah, no, usually in the mornings you don't really catch too much. Uh, if you leave early enough, you really don't catch too many traffic problems. So you get here at 6, 6.30, what time do you get home or go home? Yeah, usually right after the draw, I'll get in my car and I'll head out. I 11 usually or 12, get home. something like that? Yeah, I usually get home around right before 2 o'clock. Yeah, and you told me something interesting about nights. You're with your family, you're hanging out, but you watch every race on your phone no matter where you're at, right? Yes, sir. Every now and then, <laughs> I mean, I'll miss one. Yeah. But, uh... For the most part, yeah. We, no matter where we're at or what we're doing, I'll just whip out the iPhone and watch the races and simple as that. Tell everybody why it's important you watch those races even when you're not, riders aren't in them. Just to make sure that nobody gets a bad trip. If somebody gets a bad trip, usually those are the, the mounts that are easier to obtain um, mm -hmm. in the morning. Next time out. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, if they had good trips, usually you run second or third, the people yeah. try to give them an opportunity to ride the horseback they get a bad trip then you know everything's yeah. up in the air <laughs> yeah now yeah. also it helps with entering horses right in the right spots and you know things like that you know yeah you definitely want to watch as all the races as many as you can because it's only going to help you uh, know these horses uh, a little better it's almost and like you're a handicapper too huh yes sir yeah so you love being an agent yeah i really do Group i've uh, been doing it since 2015, 16 with Timmy up there in Chicago. Yeah. And I've just stayed with it ever since. Sold cars, done other kind of things. I uh, was gonna do health insurance, life insurance, mm -hmm. uh, stuff like that with, with MedLife. But um, I ended up just doing good with this, so I stuck with it and I mean, if you're doing good, it's it's a good job. Yeah. Yes! Now your dad, of course, is Mark Gidder, if people don't know. Does he ever give you any advice about this business? I mean, you've been around horses your whole life. Oh yeah, he definitely definitely helps out with advice um, whenever he's he... He's a steward now too, right? Yes, yeah, sir. He's a steward. Hopefully he'll be... Uh, hopefully he'll get the uh, state steward's uh, job uh, now that Mr. Brooke Hawkins is going up to New York. But um, not sure about that, but that's what we're hoping yeah. for him. Well, good. Well, you have an interesting career. It seems like uh, something you're really into if you're a horse person, and you got a great. It doesn't really feel like a job to me. It really doesn't. I mean, this is kind of like my hobby. It always has been. Ever since I was a little kid, I always loved horse racing. Love going with my dad to the tracks in the mornings and just being around the people and around the horses. And uh, yeah, it really doesn't feel well, like a job. Well, they say if you do what you like, it's like not working, right? So. Mm -hmm. That's, That's why way. hopefully I'll be doing this with, for a long time. <laughs> this is the way it is for Marcus Gidry. All right, Even well. when I'm retired, I'll still be doing this. Well, thanks for the insight, Marcus. Good luck yes, the rest sir. of the way. Thank you, you too.